so for the auto completion and you can also use this for uh, the warnings but I use it for the auto completion you can um, well you know something like this right you can and then it will auto complete that's pretty useful and you know I use cock neovim which is a pretty popular probably the most popular thing uh, plugin for this and uh, it, it just works well sometimes it depends on the language but um, uh, to install it you can well before that if, if you haven't uh, installed any Vim plugins you should probably use a plugin manager so you can use Vim plug um, you know download it you know copy this into the terminal and uh, once you have that installed you can just uh, do plug new client cock new Vim you know, copy paste right put the uh, the thing in your Vim RC and then um well for the c uh plugin we are using cock clang or cock clang di i'm not sure but you can do cock install cock clang you can actually see it uh here so cock neovim is not you know it's not a c uh thing right it's it just provides the auto completion is like a template right so you actually need another plugin that uh, connects uh, it to your language so um if we see extensions here sometimes there are already plugins that uh, you know connects cock neovim to the language right we have uh, cock clang the here uh, but sometimes not but sometimes you can also, you know, add it to Cock Neovim itself. But in this case, we already have Cock Clang, and you can do uh, Cock install Cock Clang D, and then it will just work. And then if you want to customize it, you can go to your Cock Settings .json. So this is probably in your .config Vim file, and uh, you know you can do call clang and whatever right clang the and you have all the uh, options here but uh, to get these options or auto completion for the JSON you can you know you can use I think cock TS server because it uses JavaScript or something and you're pretty much done but I also use a static analyzer um, with dense analysis ale which is also a pretty nice plugin because it just works uh, and by default it supports many um, tools like uh, many CLI tools which you know it will use to produce the warnings and um, again for that you can just uh, install it by doing plug dense analysis ale and then if you want to set it you uh, can do it by setting the uh, variables so if you uh, have installed ale and then actually I guess we can see this so if we go to a dot C file here um, and you know call on ale info you can see if you are actually you know if it's actually running right so uh, here it or it supports CC, CCLS, Clang, D, Clang, Tidy, Sleepy, Check, etc. And here you have all the variables you can use to um, configure your uh, dense analysis ale. And uh, what you probably want is this. So I'm using Clang, Tidy, and GCC. And Clang, Tidy has this annoying thing where it warns me for every mem copy. Um, actually let's uh, let's disable this and I think it should um, wait uh, swap okay I don't know what that 
was about but if we do mem copy I don't know I don't know if this will produce any yeah, call to function mem copy is insecure. It basically does this on every memory uh, functions, so like string.h function, you know, mem copy, stir copy, and it's really annoying. And you probably want that uh, disabled <laughs> if you're uh, writing in C, so you, know, you can set this. And this will just, uh, when uh, L is gonna run clang tidy in the background right to actually generate the warning here right uh, L is not the actual thing that uh, is generating the warnings it just uh, passes the warning and displays it in Vim right and it just uses these flags when running clang tidy and to get these variables, uh, you can do G L, and then you can tap complete, and then you'll you'll get uh, all kinds of uh, variables here. And I think this kind of sucks. Honestly, I, I prefer the JSON uh, way of doing it that uh, Cockneovim does because you know. So if we do this, you know, it already gives the auto completion for everything, which is much easier than actually. <laughs> you know let something in NeoVim or something but uh, yeah if you have those two things you are pretty much uh, done you have the auto completion right and you have you know if we do something like uh, I don't know <laughs> Let's uh, do something with Malik here. And, you know, if we have a Malik and we haven't freed it anywhere, we'll get a memory leak error or warning. Well, you may get some false positive, but, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty simple, but obviously, this is not the only way of doing it. You don't need to use Cock and NeoVim. There are a lot of plugins. Usually, the NeoVim people just use Lua for everything. I guess it may be faster. I don't know. Maybe the JavaScript is slow. I have had some situations where, you know, there's some clunkiness in Cock NeoVim's auto completion. So maybe if you use a Lua based plugin, it's faster. I don't know. But, you know, it. This just works, okay. <laughs>